Thanksgiving is now in the rear view. Now, local towns are turning their attention to the next big holiday. That's Christmas. One small town in Illinois takes it to the next step as they celebrate one of Dr. Seuss's most famous stories. Will Price has a story. How the Grinch Stole Christmas is one of the most famous holiday stories of all time. And here in the small Illinois town of St. Marie, they're bringing it to life. Volunteers have spent time over the past days and weeks decorating the downtown area, including this 40-foot Christmas tree you see here behind me, to help make Whoville a reality. For Dr. Seuss fans, it was a dream come true. The town of St. Marie was filled with Grinch decorations. Second year, they put on their Whoville event. The idea came from St. Marie Community Club Treasurer Mandy Cole in the summer of 2021. I think it was like August. I remember it was summer and just the kids and I were on a walk of an evening and I said, you know how cool it would be to bring Whoville to St. Marie? And they kind of looked at me like, do you think we can make that possible? Eventually, they made it work. Festivities included face painting, a wagon ride, and of course, interacting with characters. Jason Grunlow took his kids on the four-hour drive from Missouri for the event. Says the fun started as soon as they pulled into the parking lot. My youngest son, um, Owen, saw the Grinch and got really excited. He actually, as soon as we had to stop the car and let him unload, and he went running up and dancing to see the Grinch. He was so excited. He says seeing the festivities exceeded his expectations. It's childlike. I guess I've watched it through both. I was watching both my boys, and all the characters are walking around. We've seen the mayor. We've seen Cindy Lou. Um, we've obviously seen the Grinch, and it's it's just it's so happy. And Cole says the event wouldn't be possible without help from the community and that the best part of the event was seeing the reaction from the kids. Seeing the smiles on their face, it just makes it worth it. Walking around with a two feet cotton candy when they're only two feet tall, you can't beat it. Now, given it's just the second year of the event, local residents don't know what to expect as far as numbers, but they do expect at least a few hundred people to come in for the holiday experience. Reporting in St. Marie, I'm Will Price.